Hi, welcome to the e-pens tutorial. I'm going to look at a digital pen e-pen and see how good it is. I did an early review using the smart pen Wi-Fi. I kind of like the e-pen because you've got software called MyScript and you can use OCR to convert your text. You need LR41 batteries, they do come with it, but they're only cheap to buy if you need them. And I have noticed the batteries don't last long if you actually leave them in the pen. So bear that in mind. Now I'm using a blank bit of paper which I'm going to do a sentence in a moment. Before I do that I want to show you the sensor. Now here's the sensor and at the bottom of this is a little infrared that connects to your pen as you write so make sure you leave space, your hands not over the pen and blocking that sensor as you write in your notes. To turn it on you hold the button down for around 3 seconds and there's the LCD screen, quite basic but as you write you see a little pen come up on that LCD screen as well. So I'm going to put that in the middle of the page, you can actually put it into the top of the page as little clips if you need to. So now let's have a look at the pen. So I'm going to see how good it really is by just doing one sentence. And I've only tried this once before, so but I haven't done a conversion on it yet. I had a quick look at the software. But I want to see how good it is. Let's see if this pen works. Oh, Okay, so it's not the best handwriting in the world, so if you can pick up my handwriting, it should pick up most people's handwriting. If you wanted another page, click that button quickly once, and that create a second page, so you can separate your topics and your ideas if you need to. And there's your e-pen, and that's how simple. Next thing I'll do in the next tutorial is connect that to the PC and see if we can use the software. Hi, and welcome to the second part of my video tutorial. I'm looking at e-pens today and how good they are. As you saw from the first part, I did a sentence, let's see if this pen works OK. So now what I want to do is upload that onto my computer onto Note Manager, which is a software. And from the Note Manager, we can then send it to my script, which should convert it for us. But before we do that, I need to show you this option up here. When you install your software with ePens, it gives you this software called My Script Trainer as well. Now, if you double tap it, I need you to create a profile by clicking next here, which I started to do earlier. Now what this will do is make you go through a number of writing tests. It will have you write down the alphabet numbers so it actually starts getting samples to learn the way that you write. That will make it a lot more accurate. Now I haven't gone through that, I started it, but let me click next and just put another profile in to show you. Give you an idea. Click next again. And then this is what you need to do. So you need to get the sensor, get piece of paper and start writing out what you see here then once you have written everything out you can upload that onto your note manager which I'll show you in a minute and or we can straight port it into here which I'll show you how to do as well at the end so just go for it go next next and fill in every bit so when you come to the end it's going to ask you where that file was you've uploaded so when you've uploaded it from your sensor onto your computer note manager or even your desktop just find it through here click open and it will analyze and it should be a lot more accurate so I haven't done that, but I'm going to just show you how it works anyway. So I'm going to plug in the sensor for the e-pen into the USB port now. And as you can see, bottom right hand corner, it's popped up. So now I can open this up. And here's the note manager window. You see there's nothing in there yet, because I haven't actually uploaded anything. So if I go to the top left hand corner, this is the upload button. This will upload any notes I've done from the actual sensor from the pen. So if I click it once. And do I want to delete it? I won't delete it for now, but this is the only way to delete notes off your sensor for your pen is through this software. There's no option to do it with the actual sensor, so I recommend just clicking no for now. Now let's have a look at the note. I'm going to double click it, left click, and there it is. There's a little mistake there. So if I actually zoom in, we can have a look and see how good that is. So control plus is a shortcut to zoom in. So I can see the S has gone a bit wrong. But not bad, considering my handwriting isn't great. Let's see if it actually converts. And remember, I haven't done the training yet. This is how quick you can do this to convert. So I'll go back up to the top left-hand corner. This time, I'm going to go to the A button, which is Convert to Text. Click that once. This should take me to my script notes. There we go. There's the text. Now, you can choose how many pages you want to do from. Now, if I remember from the beginning, I showed you in a tutorial you can press a little button on the sensor and that will help you change to each page so if that was the case if I did that five times then I'd have five pages in here and I could do pages from say one 
to three and so on it just gives you more control also if I click change here you can change whether you've done shapes and freeform drawing because you might do charts and stuff so that's handy as well but as I'm doing natural handwriting I'm going to leave it on text so leave everything default and then click OK and see how it comes out right let's have a look on the right now here's the conversion test see if this pen works ok so there's only one letter wrong L and T and remember I haven't done the training on that yet so that's not bad now what I can do is actually send it to or application I need to I can open it up in Word Notepad or send it straight as an email it's entirely up to you but I'm going to go to Word because that's the word processor most people use and let's have a look and there you go not bad considering I've done no training on it and I like this as well because there's no cost buying the dotted paper so you can use any paper to do your notes and the accuracy is pretty good